All right. Welcome again, everybody. Uh, great to have you with us here on uh, this update call. Again, we're not going to be long today, uh, but we do have some uh, exciting updates to share with everybody. Uh, just uh, really, really excited, of course, about the relaunch of Daisy. And, you know, we, we've said it, uh, uh, you know, many of the other calls, but I think it's important to reiterate on the front end that uh, this, this pause that we've been in for the last uh, couple of months is absolutely necessary uh, so that we can really uh, take Daisy uh, long term. That this can be a long term project. Uh, we can move into phase two, three, four, five, and uh, really fulfill the entire vision of Daisy, uh, not just phase one, uh, but really position ourselves uh, for the longevity uh, that this uh, project and ecosystem and community represents. And to do that, we uh, we had to go back and uh, to the drawing boards and really architecture. Uh, the infrastructure uh, uh, correctly and be ready to scale to that next level. So again, want to welcome everybody. I want to thank everybody who has uh, just continued to uh, believe and see the vision of Daisy. Uh, one thing is for sure, when we relaunch, uh, we're going to talk about that tonight. When we reopen the doors to Daisy, uh, guys, get ready. We're going to share some statistics with you tonight that are, I, I think, going to actually blow your mind. Uh, about the opportunity that we have right now, uh, going from the, uh, we'll call it the beta launch uh, in those four days to now moving into the official launch that we're gonna be experiencing uh, together. Without any shadow of a doubt, we're positioned to just disrupt multiple industries. The momentum uh, that we're gonna see when we open up the floodgates, uh, the stories that are gonna be created, people from all over the world. It's just incredible to see what's happening right now and especially this week. And I know that today we're talking to leaders around the world and uh, the next few days is, is really crucial. It's crucial for your Daisy business. It's crucial for the stories that you're creating in, in your network and, and for you and your family. Uh, I'm a big, big believer in the power of pre-launch. And I think that uh, the energy that you put into the pre-launch is the most important energy. It's really where you win the game. It's really where you set yourself up. Uh, there's, you know, there, there, there's, there, there's those that wait until something launches to begin to build their fire. And so when it launches, they start to, if you can picture someone building a fire with wood and they start to gather their wood and put their wood together, there's those that wait until the project launches to get to work. There's others who have been putting the wood together and who are going to take the next few days and really start putting everything in place, gathering the leaders, getting the webinars going, making sure people understand how to get their, uh, their wallets prepared. And you're going to start preparing the fire before we light the match. And then there's the, the third group of people that say, not only am I going to gather and prepare but we're gonna put fuel on that fire. We're gonna put uh, gasoline on that wood and we're gonna really prepare this thing so that when we strike the match and reopen Daisy, uh, you're off to the races with, with massive momentum. And I can tell you that myself, Edward and Ilya, uh, we are available uh, between now and the official reopening to lock arms with uh, uh, you as leaders uh, who are ready to really take uh, Daisy to the world with us. Uh, we're ready to lock arms with you uh, for uh, anything uh, that we can do to support that pre-launch momentum and really help you position yourself and your teams so that when we strike the match, so to speak, you have a massive explosion uh, absolutely out of the gate. Edward, Eli, I would love to throw it to you guys and, and, and kind of set it up with this question of uh, what what have you been hearing and feeling? I know you guys have been meeting with a lot of leaders that have been flying into Dubai. Uh, you guys have been doing a lot of private webinars and uh, things with leaders uh, uh, behind the scenes. What's the what's the vibe right now? What are you hearing from the field right now as it relates to uh, everybody's focus and excitement for the relaunch? Ilya, you want to go first? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, right, right. So we, yeah, Jeremy, we do have a lot of meetings, of course, here in Dubai. And also online so we feel excitement actually because we've been waiting for a couple of months so now we feel a uh, very big excitement uh, people are looking forward to this relaunch uh, they're preparing their teams and what is even more exciting we have so many people that never joined daisy before right so these are like new people to daisy 
uh, and we have so many of them. So, uh, and uh, you know, I've been doing these calls in multiple languages. Like the last one was Arabic call, right? So we have such a big Arabic community, which is very, you know, it's very nice to know because here in Dubai, you know, kind of in the Middle East, especially, uh, there are so many people from this part of the world who also want to join. So we we talk to people from Latin America, we talk to people from uh, from uh, Europe, from Eastern Europe, from Asia, you know, from everywhere, all parts of the world, and everybody's excited. So there are maybe some people who kind of, you know, want to see how we, we relaunch first, as, as you said, right? As, uh, uh, so some people, they just want to see how it's going to work. But many, many people, they're already doing some daily Zoom calls, uh, some trainings for their people. You know, many people, they do trainings on USDT, which is very important part also, right? So we have some little change there, right? So they prepare... Uh, because most of folks they're not so familiar with uh, with uh, with uh, crypto, right? so they need some basic uh, tutorials on how they set up their wallets, right? So how they move, how they buy USDT. It's very important so that when we launch, they have enough funds on their wallets, right, to start and to buy uh, tier one, tier two, tier three, etc. Right? So this is very important. Yeah. So excitement is there, and uh, I'm quite sure that uh, Edward. Uh, also feel it with, with the leaders that he, he's been talking and we, we meet many leaders together uh, because we stay in the same hotel, you know, we kind of, you know, have our schedule very similar. So, uh, Edward, you want to? Yeah, well, first of all, I want to say I can't believe it's been already two months. And if somebody would tell me it's going to take two months, I would probably go crazy, right? And I know <laughs> that to launch such a big project, uh, put so much uh, leaders together and then, right? But um, I... I understand how this could be two months uh, frustration trying to build and you have no back office to put all these people data, there's no money coming. So it is very, very difficult situation to be in. But guys, uh, I, the biggest success, it doesn't come just like that, right? It would be nice. I mean, we, we, but it is what it is. The situation where we're at pretty much right now, we're, we're almost ready. Well, we'll give you some updates right now, but this is the time when you would um, start your engines, warm up the engines and ready to step in a gas. So start bringing, I, I, we have a lot of excitement from the people and we have from some people a little bit um, like confused. They think like, are we going to, are we starting today in a 12th or are we starting the 15th, right? So we will give you, we're not going to start randomly without letting you know, uh, right? So we also going to put time clock down and 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 as well, we're going to change the time. Uh, the next meetings for probably Jeremy should change also not to do 8, 8 a.m. UTC, but do it like 11 UTC time because of we have a big community in South America that in Canada, right? Especially South, like Dominican Republic, uh, Brazil, they are... It's four o'clock in the morning for them. <laughs> no. And they in a call. A lot of my a lot of leaders right now in a call, they say, guys, why are you keep doing it four in the morning? So we're yeah. gonna change it. It's gonna be still morning for you, but it's gonna be <laughs> seven in the morning, yeah. right? So we apologize for that, but uh we are so excited and we're fully ready to launch. We're just in a process of uh lost migration. And I think uh, maybe Jeremy, can, you can go more into details and uh, announce. You know, one, absolutely. One of the things I love uh, about challenges in, 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 yes. in life and business, what I love is that it, what, it, what challenges really does is it, it, it reserves the rewards. It holds back the rewards for those that really deserve it. What challenges does is it, it, it takes... It, it, it allows you to find out who the problem solvers are, who the leaders are, who the pioneer thinkers are. And then the reward on the other side of those challenges goes to those individuals that had the courage to see the vision, had the courage to believe, had the courage to lead through those challenges. I love challenges because, you know, challenges purify something. Challenges make the, the, the core stronger. Challenges, they serve so many purposes. And so, there, there's always some really, really valuable things that come out of challenges. And I think for, for, for the leaders in the field that are, are standing and they're locked arms with, with Daisy and they're ready and leading this project forward, the reward that's going to come on the other side of this relaunch is going to be massive. I mean, we're talking about, uh, you know, 
breaking every record in the industry. When we open the doors again, we're going to do together what has never been done before. And there's people listening right now who have been holding on, leading, believing. They see the vision of Daisy and you've not letting go of that. You continue to stand with Daisy through the challenges because you know the promise is real. You know that the end result is going to be worth leading through those challenges. And the reward that you're going to see for being one of those type of, of leaders, one of those type of visionary pioneers, the reward that you're going to get on the other side of this is going to be absolutely incredible. In fact, I'm going to show you some data tonight uh, on, 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 on this webinar that's going to really, I think every person watching, your, your, your mind is going to be blown when we show you some of the actual data uh, of, of the numbers uh, and, and where everyone is positioned who's a part of this uh, pre-launch team. Uh, Ilya, you brought something up that I, I think it's important that we touch on as well. Uh, for those of you that were not on the last webinar, uh, we are very excited to be able to move the platform from TRX to USDT on the Tron blockchain. Now, the great news for all of you is it really makes no difference. It's, it, it's the exact same wallet address that you've already used for your Tron. It just converts to a USDT uh, wallet address. Uh, it's going to make the process so much more fluid. You will never have to worry about the issue of, for example, somebody purchasing Tron and then the, the price goes down and they don't have enough funds to, to, to go through all the tiers they wanted to go through. They have to put more money in. It eliminates the scenario where when the money is being converted from uh, uh, from the uh, 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 contribution into the uh, Endotech Daisy Fund uh, trade account, there's no room for uh, that value to decrease in that process. So there's no possible loss there. It's just a much cleaner experience. And it really is going to make a profound difference in, in the uh, uh, total uh, growth and outcome. So just want to make sure everyone is very clear about that. Get with your upline leadership teams uh, because they there's some great educational videos out there on how to get your TronLink wallet, activate your USDT, have your USDT account uh, set up, and it's going to be a fluid process. But that is one thing that definitely this week you want to make sure that you – and everyone in your organization, every DAISY member that you have, every new person that is ready to enroll, make sure that their TronLink USDT wallet is ready because that's going to be the wallet that will be used to enroll as well, to register as well as to upgrade through the tier. So, you know, I tell you what, let me just pull my screen share up and let's go into this portion first because we're talking a lot about uh, the tiers and the upgrades and, and different things. And I think that uh, this is something that everyone is going to be excited to see. This is the only slide that we're going to even show tonight. But in my opinion, if, if, if I was a brand, if I was anyone who was a part of the pre-launch or anyone who missed the pre-launch, maybe in those four days, uh, maybe you're, you and your team didn't know how to operate on the blockchain when the website was down. You didn't know how to circumvent that. Uh, you didn't have a chance to really hit the ground running. Momentum got stopped so quickly. And, and, and now you're, you're ready to really take off. Guys, I want to show you this, the actual numbers uh, from the database. So uh, as you know, there were 52,566 members that registered with tier one. That means that uh, uh, basically 52,000 people Scott started with Daisy for the $100 package, but we know that literally in the first couple hours of the platform opening, we started to see those issues with people being able to upgrade. And so while a lot of people were able to get in and register very quickly, we started to see those timeouts happening with the upgrades. And so look, what, look at the, the statistics here, 22,000 people, upgraded to tier two, were able to upgrade to tier two. 12,000, almost 13,000 people upgraded to tier three. 7,000, only 7,000 people upgraded, were able to upgrade to tier four. That, that's that's uh, uh, you know, $100 uh, dollars for tier one, two, 200 for tier two, 400 tier three, 
800 per tier four. We're talking about only an $800 tier and only 7,000 people were able to uh, upgrade in those four days. 3,700 people tier five, 1,800 people tier six, less than 1,000 people at tier seven. I want you to think about this a second. From 53,000 to, 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 to under 1,000 people in tier seven. What does that mean for you? That means that when we relaunch and we reopen, those that take action and upgrade quickly in the beginning, you and because of the compression of the matrix, you literally guys have an opportunity because guess what? We're going to have this conversation a week after the launch, and there's a good chance there's going to be 500,000 people at tier one, and there might be 50 or 100,000 people at tier seven. And what that means for those of you that upgrade uh, in, the, in, the, in the first 24 hours of relaunch, you literally have the opportunity to be one of the early movers in the tier seven matrix. This is incredible. Look at tier eight. 362 people, tier nine, 133 people at tier nine, tier 10, 78 people were able to upgrade to tier 10. I know right now thousands of people personally that have reached out ready to upgrade to tier 10. Those of you who are a part of the pre-launch, when we reopen the doors and you move through your upgraded tiers, it's like being a part of the very beginning. I mean, this is how early, this is how young this movement is, guys. This is a chance literally to be at the top of those, those higher tier matrix and really position yourself. And so for those that were involved with pre-launch and for those that take action in the first 24 hours of the relaunch, this is a massive, massive opportunity. Now, it gets even better because one of the things that we're going to be able to do when we relaunch, every single pre-existing member is going to have a full five days of unlocked 10 generations for whatever tier that you're at. So if you're at tier one, you will have five days where you will be able to earn on all 10 generations of the matrix. That means you have five days to qualify for those generations for life, and you'll get paid on those 10 generations for the first five days of relaunch. If you're at tier five, then you'll be getting paid on 10 generations of tier one, two, three, four, and five. All five of those tier matrix you will get paid on all 10 generations. This is incredible for two groups of people. Anyone who was involved in the original beta launch, if you will, you're gonna be able to maximize this bonus plan the very for the first five days of the relaunch. And you then can take those five days to focus on qualifying for pay set or gold unlock the 10 generations by qualifying, but during those five days, you will be fully qualified for all 10 generations of matrix bonuses. Absolutely incredible for every person who pre-registered, you're gonna be able to maximize the matrix bonus plan for five days. And then of course, you wanna make sure that you qualify for 10 generations by the end of those five days so that you continue to maximize that pay plan as well. Second of all, this is a huge incentive for anyone who is considering participating in DAISY. Huge incentive. Because if, if a new person joins in that first day and they pull the trigger quickly and they move through the tiers quickly, they're gonna get the benefit of earning from all 10 generations of the matrix, the spillover, their referrals, et cetera, for the first five days. So anyone who joins on day one has a big advantage over those that join on day two or day five, because you're gonna have the full five days. Now, if those that join on day two, you're gonna have four days left. Those that join on day three, 
You're going to have three days left, right? And then, of course, it'll go to the normal 48 hours. Every new person who joins Daisy has all 10 generations unlocked for their first 48 hours. But for those that join in the first 24 hours, for those that upgrade tiers in the first 24 hours, you literally are going to get to benefit from all 10 generations for five days in a row. So this is exciting. This is an opportunity to really position yourself, compress yourself to the top of the matrix by upgrading. It's a huge incentive for people to join you in Daisy immediately the day we open because they're going to get that extra benefit of all 10 generations paying out to them uh, for those first five days. Now let's talk about where we are in the uh, process right now uh, with the Daisy relaunch. So we are in the very final stage before we launch, and that's the migration phase. So the the we, we the smart contracts are completed and fully tested, uh, been tested by multiple sources, and the smart contracts are absolutely rock solid. The platform itself is ready to go. The integration with the smart contracts to the front end, the website is completely done. All of those moving parts that we call the platform is completed and ready to go to market. That should be very exciting news to every single person. There's nothing left undone as it relates to the platform itself. The platform is ready to go live. Now the final phase is we have 53,000 members and we've got 10 different tiers of matrix, as you see here, that we now are migrating into the new smart contracts. And so that migration is, is a process. Uh, we've brought in some uh, experts uh, in the field of migration as well to support this process. And this is the final phase. Once the migration is done, it means that every user has migrated uh, of, of course, the same position in the matrix, the same qualifications that you had uh, when we launched, all of that data is migrated over. And then once that is done, we are ready to launch. And so the migration part of the process, there's some possibilities that this could be done in a shorter amount of time than expected. However, here's the reality and here's what the conservative estimation is from our uh, uh, tech architectures overseeing the migration process. The best case scenario, or what we would say, the uh, if, 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 if every, everything goes well, as it stands right now, would be March the 19th. Now, I know that we set a target of March the 15th. And because of the just, just Honestly, the, the, the depth of the project, we, we needed to make sure that everything was tested properly and thoroughly. Uh, we didn't want to leave any stone unturned. We didn't want to shortcut any of that process. And we just really needed to make sure that the platform and the seven different smart contracts are all working 100% properly. Because of that attention to detail, we didn't want to leave anything undone. We wanted to make sure that uh, that was 100% validated and confirmed uh, by the development teams. Uh, we took a couple of extra days to simply make sure that that was done correctly. Now we, are in, we have entered the migration phase, and we're looking at March the 19th as a best-case scenario, a worst-case scenario. And this simply means that there's so, some glitches in the migration process, uh, uh, potentially... You know, uh, 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 when that data is transferring, there, there's some adjustments that have to be made in the scripts and uh, uh, working with the Tron blockchain, uh, even, even timeouts that can happen during migration uh, that, that cause us to have to come in and start from where we left off and continue that migration process. Just several scenarios that can happen that potentially could cause a couple of extra days delay. The worst case scenario our development team has told us is March the 22nd. Now that is not our expectation. We believe that March 19th, seven days from today, uh, we're gonna be able to accomplish that goal. In fact, some of the experts that we brought in 
uh, believe that it can possibly be done even uh, faster than that. And so we have some very good possibilities of everything being migrated in the next few days. We're going to say March 19th as a target date, as a best case scenario target date. A worst case scenario is March the 22nd. So what does that mean? It means in the next seven days, no later than 10 days, we are going to be fully launched and fully live. Now, we're doing everything we can to speed that process up. We would love to be able to come in on the, the 15th or 16th or 17th and, 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 and have a, a, a global update call, an emergency call to make a big announcement that we've got it done faster. We would love for this to happen. We're, we've got all hands on deck, 20 hours a day, teams in all different parts of the world rushing to the finish line of this migration. But realistically, from the tech, our, our tech architecture, our top lead developer, realistically, we're looking at March the 19th, assuming everything goes very smoothly this week. If there's any challenges this week, uh, we know what they, they may be. And if those challenges arise, they're, they're not a, a, a big issue. It may delay us by a couple of days. So at the very latest, March the 22nd. So guys, this coming week is major for everyone. We know that we're coming into the weekend right now. Uh, Monday is the 15th. Uh, uh, Thursday, uh, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is the 19th. So we're literally uh, a week away to 10 days away from completely going live to the world. And we would not give you those dates and put that projection out there if we didn't have a, 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 a confidence from the development team and an expectation set. One of the things I love about the new teams that we brought in over the last couple of months is they have been very conservative with their promises and they have delivered those promises on time. Uh, that's an exciting scenario for us. They did not tell us what we wanted to hear ever. They never told us what we wanted to hear. The first development team, they told us a lot of what we wanted to hear. But in the end, it wasn't the truth. The development team that we have right now that actually came from the auditing company, referred to us by the auditing company, absolutely one of the best teams we've ever worked with, has told us the truth every step of the way. And there has been no exaggeration. There's been no over-promising and under-delivering. They have under-promised and over-delivered. And so now we're at the very final stage. Everything is complete. We're simply now migrating the data into the new smart contract so that we can fully deploy and go live. So that's the, the real facts about the update. We have potentially seven days to 10 days before we go live. And that gives us a week to work together, to prepare the troops, to get the webinars going for you as leaders to really get your teams prepared with your USDT wallets, with, with the Tron link, get all of those details in place. And here's what I promise every single one of you. When we launch, it's going to work. Now, one of the exciting things that we've been able to do in this new architecture is create what's called an upgradable smart contract model. What that means is, is that even if there were some issues that arose, we will never have to go through what we went through over the last two months. If there's any issues that happen to arise, let's say a million users hit our platform in the first week and we go, holy cow, we, we were ready for 500,000. Within hours, we're able to make those adjustments, able to uh, 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 integrate additional smart contracts into the ecosystem so that we never, ever have to do this again. We will never have to rebuild the platform. We will never have to migrate the data again. We could literally go from phase two to phase three to phase four. We can launch new, new offerings, new technology partnerships. We can move into Forex. We can move into every single component of the DAISY roadmap without ever 
having to rebuild the foundation of the platform again. Now, guys, I know that two months is a long time to be on pause. I know that there's a lot of folks that uh, have been waiting and are excited. And, and look, we would have loved, we would have loved to have launched and never had these challenges. But challenges, as, as, as I said before, challenges is one of life's ways of making sure that the reward goes to the person or the people who deserve it. And I'm telling you that those of you that have continued to believe in Daisy, who have continued to lead, continue to see the vision, who understand that this is the most disruptive business model and technology platform to ever, ever hit this industry. And you see it and you know that this is going to be a multi-billion dollar a year and, and beyond project. And you're at the very front end of history. Those of you that had the, have had the courage to see that vision and to lead through that vision, you deserve the reward. And so this challenge that we face is really an opportunity. And now is the moment, the next few days. This is your moment. This is the time that we lock arms together, that we take the message of Daisy to the world, that, we, uh, that, that you focus on layering your business and your organization with leaders that see the vision. Take the next seven days and focus on laying the foundation in your organization. Because I promise you, I promise you, Anyone who misses this pre-launch, it's going to be the biggest regret that they have in their business career. Those that wait and say, well, let's see what happens, or I don't know, <clears throat> you know, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to really go all in on this one, and they wait, I promise you it will be the biggest business regret that they have in up, up to this point in their life because Daisy is absolutely positioned to be the biggest project the world has ever seen in our industry. And those that are taking it and treating it as such are the ones that are going to reap the biggest rewards. And those that don't are going to look back and they're going to tell the story and say, I had a chance to be a part of Daisy, but because I got frustrated with the delays, I got frustrated with the challenges I didn't know how to deal with complaining people. And I became a negative thinker instead of a positive leader. I missed out on the biggest opportunity of my life. And I know that that story does not apply to those that are on this webinar tonight. Those that are on this webinar tonight are the ones who are going to reap the reward. You're the ones who absolutely see and believe in the vision of Daisy. And you are what we consider the founding members of this project. We want to thank you. We believe in you. We believe in this project with all of our hearts, and we know what we're going to do together. Uh, Ilya and Edward, I know that we also have a, uh, we did a, a, an official presentation this week while the three of us were together in Dubai. I know that uh, Edward and Ilya, you guys brought a video team in and put together some really good uh, 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 video around that presentation. I really enjoy, really love the beginning of that video where uh, the three of us really told the story of Daisy, really shared just from our hearts how this all came together. And I think that that story is something that, that that's going to really uh, uh, be a part of the relaunch. People need to hear and know the story of Daisy because there's something powerful to that story. All of that was on video, professionally recorded. And Edward Ely, I believe that uh, your video team is uh, is almost done with that editing, and we're going to be uh, launching that video here uh, pretty soon. Yeah, uh, Jeremy, it's almost done, and uh, I can almost guarantee that it will, it will be published today on our YouTube channel. So uh, yeah. everybody will be able to see it on YouTube channel, just like you mentioned, with the story of Daisy, with your. Uh, awesome presentation that we did and uh, with uh, professional cameras and stuff because we had a professional setup for that call. So, yes, everybody can wait for this uh, video uh, to be uploaded on YouTube channel very soon. Good. We'll put that out in the Telegram uh, uh, group as well. Make sure your yeah. folks are plugged into the Telegram channel if they're not already. 
uh, make sure that they are. Uh, we're going to continue to put uh, real-time updates there as we get closer. We we will be announcing um, in the next few days, we will announce the next global call. When we announce that call, uh, it means that we know the date. Uh, we have some new information about the launch date. So stay tuned for that over the next couple days or so, few days, uh, we'll be announcing a, a call. Uh, Edward, one of the things that you've really, you know, not, not just with Daisy, but just in our friendship, in, in business, you've just said over and over uh, how just everything, even when it looks negative or it looks like, you know, something bad, there's always something really good that has come out of those things in, in your journey, in your life. You shared some stories with me that, quite honestly, I couldn't even imagine going through. You, you've had some experiences in business that uh, would have knocked most people out of business, but they ended up leading to some really good things. So, man, I think a great way to end the webinar tonight would be maybe for you to share your perspective on the opportunity that we have and 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 what what these challenges ultimately can can mean for people as it relates to opportunity. Yeah, um, well, I'm, I'm still looking at these numbers that you left on the screen. <laughs> and all this time I've been thinking and thinking and calculating. I'm thinking like there's 30,000 people were not able to upgrade even to second tier. <laughs> uh, a lot of them were trying. I know because I had so many, I had, like so, literally thousands of messages and calls that were not able in those four days were trying to upgrade to second tier. They were not able to do it. And now it makes sense looking at this number, 30,000 members were not able to upgrade even to second tier. Some of them were able to do it at early stage, but they were not able to upgrade to a third tier. And that's a 40,000 people. So what that means is when we open the doors, the people who's going to be upgrading first, all this people under you when they're upgrading you you're getting paid and new people coming in you're getting paid in matrix one two three four five ten you know so it is i think right now is really really important for people to be not only preparing their teams uh, also to be prepared themselves to be upgraded so they could benefit from their downlines upgrading make sure they yeah. get paid and benefit because it's a it's a big part of the check it's not only i mean i know the back end we're going to be talking a year later and they're going to be surprised how big are the checks in the back end, that they are bigger than where the, the front end. But right now, all the money is front end. And, and it, it's going to be exciting to see the first week how much people made. It's going to be exciting not how much people make, but how many people, thousands, not, not just a few key yep. leaders, not 10 people, it's not 100 people. It's thousands of people going to be making hundreds of thousands of dollars in their first week. Yeah, I, the, I, mean, I was shocked, numbers. Edward. I was yeah. shocked when I saw these numbers. I, I didn't even believe it until we did. I did. We did the math, and I, these I, numbers, and it's forty nine million dollars that came in through these numbers. I was shocked. I, I said, "This is like for people in, 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 that are out there joining Daisy. This is like brand new. I mean, seventy eight people at Tier Ten. I mean, that's crazy. That's that's insane. But you know what's interesting? Uh, talking about a positive thing from this, what from this post for some of you people, maybe they, they, I'm sure there's thousands of them right now who's watching this. Looking at the numbers, what's here? Uh, if they didn't see these numbers, if they didn't know, if they didn't understand, they would miss out probably potentially tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of on the pay that you would never get it again. You would get it from your downline on the back end because that's it's not matrix, that's a uni level. You will get this, right? But on the front end, now that they see and they know what to do and realized, you know, that's one of the positive. It's a small positive thing. The biggest positive thing what happened to us, uh, it just created us a very solid, very strong, and know that we can go for a very, very, very long lifetime, right? So that's that's the goal. Again, uh, I, I want to thank every single member and every single person who didn't even join and been waiting for it. Thank for their patience. And um, I, you know, three of us, we have a same vision, same goal. We're different and same at the same time because we, it's, it's actually makes it good when you have three different 
founders because we look from different perspectives. Well, that's that's the only reason why we partnered up, right? We don't want to be the yeah. same. We don't want to be the same, right? Three of us. <laughs> then there's no reason to partner up, right? And it's yeah, like exactly. Okay. Anyway, so excited uh, to you know to be launching. Hopefully, it's going to be uh, 19th, maybe even who knows before. But uh, it's it's not too long left. And what are we going to do, Jeremy, Ilya? We're going to turn the clocks. Once we know 24 hours, 48 hours, we know, right? Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll, yeah. And you will have... uh, yeah right. We, 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 yeah, of course, we will make sure that we give enough, like, uh, notice to the in, enough time to prepare. So it's not going to be, it's not going to be like three hours or five hours, something like this. Okay. It's going to be, I think, minimum couple of days. So we, 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 we want to make sure that everybody is fully prepared. So we, we will give notice. And uh, yeah, yes, we'll we have, were... I think we'll have at least a 24 hour countdown. So we'll make the announcement. We'll have a, an official yep. webinar, make the announcement. And then we'll start an official 24 hour uh, timer countdown. So everyone will know and have plenty of time to prepare. And uh, yeah, it'll it'll be done properly. So we won't make that, we won't put that timer up until everything is 100% migration is done and we're ready to go live. And uh, I'm excited. So guys, yeah, thanks for joining us everybody tonight. Edward, Ilya, have a yeah. great day. Time thanks. rest of your week in Dubai. I know you guys have some really important meetings out there with the legal team and others. So thank you guys for uh, carrying the, the, the business side of this project out there in Dubai. And uh, for every person that's watching the webinar tonight, let's do this. It's time. Uh, we've got an opportunity to uh, do what has never been done before. And uh, let's lock arms. Let's create stories. Let's make history together. It's the real deal. Thank you for your patience. But we promise you, it's going to be worth it. The delays, yeah. the the wait, everything we've been through, our commitment to you is it will be worth it. So thank you, everybody. Good night. And uh, we look forward to uh, talking to everybody soon. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Bye -bye. guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.